It was in a room like this elsewhere on the planet where the idea of the alternative facts was announced to people just like you. And this is what we are contending with constantly. And particularly Gullaroy and Pingu. He taught me many years ago that you know when you're being told the truth because the truth burns. And the truth is very much an Aboriginal value and a Torres Strait Islander value uh, across the country. So that is a part, very much a part of our thinking. That's why the Uluru Statement from the Heart calls for a voice, makarata and truth telling. What's significant is constitutional recognition, um, recognising Australian Aboriginal people as the First Peoples. That, that's new and that's so important. And I think most Australians recognise that that's important, that knowledge. It's a representative voice. Um, uh, like the Uluru Statement was representative of our people. Um, so this is um, a coordinated approach to government. And um, uh, the, that, that advice is, is really important. But the, the, for me, the most important part is that constitutional recognition. Mm. You cannot walk away from that again. Um, and as soon as Australia makes that decision, um, a, a whole lot of opportunities open up and it, it's going to be good for the country. Uh, it's going to be good for our people, but it's going to be good for all Australians. We all know that there are, um, that it is very difficult for some Aboriginal people to prove uh, comprehensively that they're Aboriginal because of lack, of lack of records, because of members of the family lying, because of shame about having a Aboriginal ancestry, because of the hatred of Aboriginal people. Now, I don't know precisely what the circumstances are, but Bruce says that he has uh, documents um, and he has said that there are members of an Aboriginal community that have affirmed his identity and he feels comfortable with that uh, community affirmation. So as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, the matter is settled. In relation to the claims that she's made about Bruce Pascoe's book, Dark Emu, I want to personally take issue. She's wrong, she hasn't read the book. Um, she's believing um, people who, have, who are for their own reasons lying about what is in the book. All of um, Bruce Pascoe's uh, references are correct. And Bruce Pascoe's book ignited, you know, the huddles of proto-fascists. So we have a resurgence of the culture wars, which are attacks on Bruce Pascoe. Now, he didn't claim to be an historian. He didn't claim to be an expert. He read the records as an ordinary person. The racist attacks on him hinged on whether or not he was Aboriginal. It's finally happened. Bruce Pascoe has been confronted on television about claims, by me for one, that he is a fake. Do other members of your family agree you all have Aboriginal heritage? Um, some do, many don't. Going after Bruce Pascoe's Aboriginality was a cheap shot. It was designed to have maximum impact and I think it did. You know, it tore apart his work that was celebrated as being groundbreaking. It was just incredibly unfortunate that so many people believed it. I find the attacks extremely racist in that they are mostly designed to humiliate him and insult him and of course are based on the myth that, you know, everybody's records are readily available and of course all of these proto-fascists have been snooping into his family records and publishing them and publishing websites. They have a stamp, Bruce Pascoe is a fake, are you a fake too? So I have a box full of these letters from these, you know, cookers who um, hate Bruce Pascoe, hate his book and attack every Aboriginal academic that I know of um, who doesn't fit the stereotype of the, the you know, the primitive Aborigine. It's very important to keep the natives in the category of 
you know, savage, inferior race. If he'd been a white farmer from Mallacoota, they would have just said, well, how does he know? But there are people who believe that knowledge comes with your blood in, from birth. That's obviously bullshit. So to claim Aboriginality, you know, is a big, is a big deal. Um, uh, and that's why it's a humming at the moment. People were more relaxed about the issue when the, the, the payoff was not big. Um, but now the payoff is big. Uh, you can get ahead in academia, the arts, um, the public service, if you've got an Aboriginal identity. Uh, people of my skin colour have it questioned every day of their life, in one way or another. So it was no surprise. And the amount of Aboriginal blood in our family is tiny. You know, I've, I've always said to my kids, if you were in America, you'd be declared non-First Nation because of the percentage they work on. But it wouldn't change anything because um, my search for family created Dark Emu. And particularly Gullaroo Yunapingu. He taught me many years ago that you know when you're being told the truth because the truth burns. And the truth is very much an Aboriginal value and a Torres Strait Islander value uh, across the country. So that is a part, very much a part of our thinking. That's why the Uluru Statement from the Heart calls for a voice, makarata and truth-telling.